Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. A little while ago we checked out the Aorus Gaming Box, the RTX 2070 in it, and people didn't understand that that video, even though I stated it in it, was to see what the bottleneck of Thunderbolt 3 would be if you decided to loop the graphics back to your laptop's display, and whether or not that would be a viable option to use as an upgrade path for an older laptop. The conclusion was that for content creation, it was excellent, but for gaming, it performed somewhere near a GTX 1060 gaming G GPU for the desktop. Anyway, we we've had this video planned from the beginning, but we we're waiting for an additional laptop to test out some scenarios to see how the Aorus RTX 2070 gaming box would stack up against looping it back to your laptop display, connecting it up to the gaming box with a monitor, and how it compares to a laptop with an RTX 2070 in it. Did that make sense? I hope so. Roll the intro. When we did those tests in the last video, we concluded that the Aorus Gaming Box does actually breathe some life into your older laptop, and more specifically, my Dell XPS 9550. But let's rewind and talk about the hardware that we tested it with initially. We connected the Aorus RTX 2070 Gaming Box to our Dell XPS 9550 that released in 2016 with some pretty beefy specs for that time. It's got the i7 6700HQ, a 512GB NVMe M.2, 32 gigs of RAM, and the woefully underpowered 2 gig GTX 960M. For these tests, we connected it to an external display to the gaming box to see how it all stacked up again. The second bit of hardware is just as important. Aorus sent over their Aorus 15 X9 gaming laptop for us to use at Computex for editing all of our videos. Now, this is a very beefy gaming laptop. It's got the i7-8750H, 512 gig NVMe M.2, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 2070. Now we already know how the gaming box will perform with content creation and if you wanted to check out the original video where we actually do all those tests, you can check that out in the top right hand corner right now. And yeah, the gains are pretty good for this use case. This video is purely about gaming performance with an external monitor and a laptop with an RTX 2070. Let's start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark. This benchmark is built into the game and gives us a good indication of how the game will perform on your system. All the settings are set to the high preset with all the tests in all the resolutions being done in DirectX 12. For the 1080p test, we saw the gaming box with a display attached get an average score of 60 frames per second. For the 1440p test, we saw the gaming box with a display attached get an average score of 54 frames per second. For the 4K test, we saw the gaming box with a display attached get an average score of 37 frames per second. On average, we saw a performance uplift between 10 and 25% with the display connected. Now, for context, this is how a desktop RTX 2070 performed on our GPU test bench in the same benchmarks. Let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For the Superposition test, we performed three tests in total. We used the 4K optimized preset, the 1080p extreme preset, and a custom 1440p test with depth of field and motion blur disabled. For the 1440p custom test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached get an average score of 96 frames per second. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached get an average score of 48 frames per second. And now finally, for the 1080p extreme test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached get an average score of 37 frames per second. With extreme shader details, all three test systems perform pretty similarly, but when you start to go beyond that 1080p resolution, the gaming box with the display attached and the Aorus 15 X9 start to pull away significantly. Again, for context, this is how a desktop RTX 2070 performed on our GPU test bench in the same benchmarks.
The last batch of tests is with the Final Fantasy 15 benchmarking tool. Now, this is an updated version of the tool that includes DLSS and a few more optimizations to make this a far more accurate benchmarking tool. For the 1080p test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached render a total amount of 6,118 frames. For the 1440p test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached render a total amount of 5,016 frames. For the 4K test, we saw the gaming box with the display attached render a total amount of 3,232 frames. Again, for context, this is how a desktop RTX 2070 performed on our GPU test bench in the same benchmarks. From all of those results, you can see that on average, the RTX 2070 gaming box with the display attached is significantly faster than without a display attached and the graphics being looped back through the laptop's display. And to add to that, the Aorus 15 X9 has very similar performance to the gaming box with the display attached with its built-in RTX 2070 as well. The question remains though, should you buy the gaming box or a new laptop? Well. If your use case includes you using the RTX 2070 gaming box with the display attached, I think it's a nice way to bump up the gaming performance on your aging laptop. Otherwise, like I mentioned in the original video, 650 US dollars or around 1100 Australian dollars would uh, be a pretty hard pill to swallow without connecting a display up to it. Should you buy a whole new laptop for gaming if you've got an aging laptop? Well, if you want it to be portable without carrying around a gaming box and an external display, maybe. But yeah, to get the privilege of having comparable gaming performance, you're looking at spending around 2,000 US dollars or around 3,000 Australian dollars. If you're interested in grabbing an Aorus RTX 2070 gaming box, there are links in the description. Like I mentioned, they're going for around 650 US dollars or around 1,100 Australian dollars on Amazon at the time of filming this video, or if you're interested in the Aorus 15X9, there's also a link down below. They're going for around 3,000 Australian dollars. Wow. That's a lot of money for a laptop. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. And tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And yeah, I told you guys I'd eventually give you all of the numbers if you were to plug a display into this external GPU. There's your answers. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.